What up, hooligans? It's Jennifer. Welcome to the behind the scenes for my music video shoot for Clean Up in Aisle 4. First of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's streamed and watched the music video so far. It's like my best performing song ever. <laughs> could cry right now, will not. So the shoot was over two days at two separate locations, which you will see, and I tried to vlog as much as I could. But honestly, on the second day, I was like freezing and tired through most of it, and I also am a little socially. What's the word? Am I stupid in the head? I do have uh, some good, good social anxiety. I had never met any of the crew before, so I was a little stressed about that, but it was a super fun shoot and everyone was amazing to work with. I did spend $15,000 on this video, so please go watch the video. I really love how it turned out. Anyway, here is the behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm currently in the bathroom of our first set location. We just shot the first scene. It took literally like five minutes, but it's just like a VHS thing of me being the manager and doing some infomercial things. I'm about to change into my cashier outfit. Then we're going to drive to the second location, but we're going to be shooting outside. It's going to be really cold. Let's we'll see what happens. Lots of cardio. So the second shoot day was the main shooting day in the grocery store. Yes, I did have to rent out an entire grocery store for the shoot. It was quite expensive. I definitely think it was worth it. In order to rent out the store though, it had to be an overnight shoot. Obviously no customers and stuff. So it was very uh, butt crack of dawn vibes. Another note is that obviously the food cannot go bad in the store. They had to leave the fridges on, which are open. Like they don't have doors on them. Girly definitely was freezing and I'm already typically pretty cold and my costumes were not fridge proof. They were not, but it was very fun and I was tempted at many a turn to steal things, but I remained a good moral citizen and I did not commit a crime. Ooh, I have eye patches on right now, but today is Monday, January 24th. It's 5.51 p.m. I actually woke up so late today because I was preparing myself for the overnight shoot that I have that starts at 9 and ends at 6 a.m. Honestly, it wasn't that much of a struggle for me to sleep late and wake up so late, it's kind of a normal occurrence for me. But we're gonna have a productive all-nighter and I'm gonna bring you to set with me. I have to leave in one and a half hours, but before then I wanna get some editing done and I have to do my hair before I get to set. Okay, I totally forgot to show you guys, but I curled my hair a little bit, natural vibes, but I'm on my way to set now. It is 7.45, so I gotta go. Just arrived on set, but this fan is insane. But I'm getting my makeup done. This is Xander. Hi. He's gonna be doing my makeup. I think we're just doing like a natural look first. See you later. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's go for it. I'm gonna roll camera. Here we go. Welcome back, shoppers. Dirty clothes on the So essentially the whole supermarket theme is a metaphor for what is going on in my mind and like being stressed out, yelling at myself, trying to clean up and getting my life together, but like failing and trying to do it again. Inside my mind, we have these three different characters, which are different aspects of my personality. The manager is the one screaming, yelling at me to try to get things together. And then we have the cashier who is kind of just like bored over it, doesn't want to be there. And then we have the customer who is actively trying to navigate everything, buying mental breakdown, chocolate bars, sorrow soup cans, and is just like getting hit with all of these overwhelming challenges in life. Funny 
story. When I was little, I wanted to be a cashier so bad. So I'm living out my dream. I just find that scanning things is so fun. It's very satisfying. I'm also so cold because we're in the fridge aisle. It is currently 10, 11 p.m. This is my prime waking hours. We're going until 6 a.m., which honestly I think I'll be fine for because I slept at like 5 a.m. yesterday. We're chilling. So we have some of these like fake products that look super legit. Sterling, the director, made all of these. Look at this. Clarity chips. Okay, this is the one that I want to be a real thing. Mental breakdowns. I say trademark this right now. Look at that. And then sour soda. So cute. Sour soup. There's like 10 cans of these. What's the actual soup? Oh, uh -huh. it's tomato soup? It's no, it's actually sour soup. No, yeah. Yeah. These are, these are all real. Yeah. <laughs> Cheesy self-affirmation. <gasps> so cute. <gasps> Look at this. Scrolling on your phone vitamins. If you listen to the song, you will understand all of these product names. Let's That sound is amazing. We're like done with part of the cashier look. Now we're doing the blue girl customer look. First of all, I have to exfoliate my lips because they're crusty. she's crusty. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going in with a shadow all over the lid. It's giving Avatar. <laughs> like the last Airbender or the the blue people. The blue people. I've never seen. Stop. The bold. No. Excuse me? <laughs> Everyone's like, you have to watch it. I mean, yeah. I don't believe in canceling people, but... But here's an instance. Are you serious? You've never watched Avatar The Last Airbender? I have not. I'm just like... Did you grow up Asian? What is wrong I watched, you? like, Disney Channel. I wasn't really into animation stuff. I wanted to see the real people. Do you know what this feels like? This feels like you were... Betrayal. Assimilated too soon. Oh. I grew up like wanting to be white. It's okay, she's she's grown. She's grown. Oh, are they Asian? Yeah, it's all Asian characters. I sound very ignorant right now. You live and you learn. Ooh, she's giving slay. I should never repeat that sentence. <laughs> I think this obviously can be you know, a bit more emotional. So I should be like, ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Screaming, crying. Like, especially like if the water works are coming, just like. Okay. I'm, to it. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm gonna dab it on. Okay. This is supposed to make me cry. Yeah. Because they don't think I have the acting chops. I'm no, just kidding. Do you feel it? No. Oh yeah, I feel it. Okay. I feel it. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yep. Yep. This feels like some oh, witchcraft. Feel free. <laughs> feels like <laughs> witchcraft. <laughs> It's currently 2 3 a.m. It is my prime time, but we just finished lunch. She looks a little tired. This isn't the most glamorous thing to do on camera, but. <laughs> do you ever watch Hockey Wives? That I've was a show. It was before. like based off of like NHL Wives. I, wait, I want to watch. I it was love only on show hockey. for like two. Yeah. Who are you? I know, she's. She's not like other girls. <laughs> Just kidding. Like I watch every Vancouver Canucks game. Wow. Yeah. My dad was like that growing up. Mm -hmm. He's like fully immigrant Chinese. I was like, Dad, what do you gain out of watching this? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, it's just entertaining. It is entertaining. My dad loves it too. He's Chinese dads. I think, I actually have no idea what we're filming next. I've been filming a couple TikToks. Go follow me on TikTok. I want to become Charlie D'Amelio. Higher aspirations for yourself. <laughs> I think she's 
problematic. Wait, and why? Annoying and white. Maybe. She's literally like 16. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, okay. Like the success of Charlie. Yes, the, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't yeah. wanna be her. Yeah, no. I wanna be Zendaya. Zendaya. I love you. <laughs> She's definitely watching this. I'm sending it to her. Anyway, see you later. Bye. I love this. I'm so comfortable. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna be carted around. Yeah, we're store. just gonna go on a ride. Let's do it. Don't wanna give up the spot in my bed. Lose all the crazy thoughts in my head. But I can't go live for none in this mess. So I said, clean up and I'll fall. For my life, for my cries on the floor. And go for it. Wait, let's roll it. Clean up and I'll do to the habits I could in the booth. Clean up and I'll work. What the way, what the sight will be done. Hold on. And cut. There are definitely chips down my pants. It's feeling a little crunchy down there, but that was really fun. Um, guys, clean up in aisle five. We're back into the cashier fit. Fifth outfit change. But we're about to do a fish eye running scene. Currently 4.30 a.m. Energy's a little dwindling, but we're, we're chilling, making a cool video. So then towards the end, everything starts ramping up. Customer Jennifer is getting super overwhelmed. She's trying to run out of this enigma in her mind, but it's just really struggling and just doesn't really see a way out. In the end, when I finally escape, out of my mind, I look up and see that there's an infinite number of the same looking supermarkets down the street. Basically to visually represent that everyone is kind of going through this. When you're actually stuck inside of your supermarket, that's all that you can experience. But when you step outside of it, you can see that you're only like one tiny part of this huge system, which kind of comforts me to know that my problems aren't actually this huge deal. At the end of the day, it's all gonna be fine. This is like my 15th outfit change and I'm about to change again back into the cashier outfit. I'm exhausted, but I think that this is gonna turn out really cool. So I'm excited. I hope I stay awake on the drive home. Powering through. I like this look a lot actually. different from how I feel inside. I'm gonna go in with yeah. the gel. Are you okay with it like being in your hair? Yeah. Ooh. This is my ultimate look. Ooh. I love that you're committed you know what, it's, to the art. I will do anything right now. Whoa. <laughs> very warm right now. Oh, yeah, she can't move at all. Currently inside a freezer. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She's dead. <laughs> That's me. That looks so cool. You really be frozen. Wow. She said acting. 
This is a secret fun fact. The original plan was actually to put the blue girl in the freezer, but there wasn't enough time to reapply the blue girl makeup. So we decided to scrap that idea and put the manager in the freezer instead, which actually still worked out for the storyline. I think obviously we do need that manager role in our head at most points in our life just to like organize things and keep things afloat. But I think there is a lot of pressure extrinsically or just in our minds to always have a system in place, always be positive, always be hustling and grinding and moving forward or else things just feel very stagnant. And I think it is important to let yourself do nothing, not always having a mindset of like, you need to go, you need to do something, you need to be productive. In the end, you end up getting really overwhelmed and stressed out and that's why everything kind of turns into chaos at the end. Oh my god! That was the final scene and we're How's wrapped! Thank you, everybody. Oh, shoot. I'm currently driving home. Damn, you really can't see me. It's 6.48 a.m. and we are finished with the shoot. There's a lot of cars on the road and people are going to work, but I am just getting off of work. Tell me why I'm freaking wired right now. There were a couple points where I was like, I could literally fall on the floor and collapse, but now I'm like, I want to go to a party. You know what I mean? I look bold right now. My hair is giving dandruff, but it's the leftovers from the snow thing. Anyway, it was such a fun shoot and I've never done something like this before. No, we're moving again. Go stream. I saw him clean up in aisle four. Go watch the music video. If you've watched it and streamed it, go watch it and stream it again. Thank you to all of the crew literally could not have done it without every single one of them. I love you guys so much. I know you can't see me, but I will see you guys next time. Clean up